Fellow Kenyans, in the last few weeks, we have made it our business to travel around the country and know how the Kenyan people feel about this government and the projects that it's doing. And I can report that we are extremely disappointed. Our taxes are being pilfered, embezzled in a way that we've never seen before. Ni wizi wizi bila kazi. And it's a great disappointment to every person of every generation in Kenya for the kind of theft and thuggery that we are seeing in government. Nothing is happening without plunder and theft. And unfortunately, we have the President of the Republic of Kenya leading the way by being the most corrupt individual in our government. Now, fellow Kenyans, it's a time for us to ask ourselves, what are we waiting for? Are we going to sit back and watch as individuals take away our country and bring our economy to the rubble and to top, top collapse? Right now, the president is in China to borrow another loan of 40 billion Kenya shillings. I would like to ask the people of Kenya, ni nyinyi mumempa ruhusa ya kukopa 40 billion? Na kama ni nyinyi mumempa ruhusa, are you aware that the 40 billion that is coming here is coming here for corruption and theft? Right now in Kenya today, we have a debt of over 7 trillion which cannot be accounted for. Money that has been stolen. We have a public finance management act that does not comply with the constitution that purports to amend the constitution. Tuko na sheria ambayo inakubalia serikali yetu kufungua account za serikali inje ya inchi bila ruhusa ya bunge. Just recently, an account was opened at a bank in America called JP Morgan and two billion dollars was put in that account. And out of that two billion dollars, one billion dollars was transferred to another account. This account was opened in the name of Kenya Sovereign Wealth Fund. Signature came from the CS of Treasury. And they opened another account in Qatar and one billion dollars was stolen. One billion dollars is 130 billion Kenya shillings. Right now, we are being told that the best way to build our country is through public-private partnership, where the president is purporting to lease our airport, a national pride, a strategic asset to the nation, the gateway to our country. This is something that affects national security, and our president is willing to give our airport to corrupt Indians to run it. For 30 years, he should have even given the lease to the end of his term, but he's willing to give our airport for 30 years. This thing called public-private partnership is used to do money laundering in our country. The president is saying he's very proud of the expressway, but the expressway is a crime scene. The expressway ni pesa yetu ambayo iliibiwa kutoka SGR, kampuni ikaenda ikaregistrwa na wa Kenya kule China, ikakuja Kenya ikajenga expressway wakaanza kulipisha tu launda money that was stolen through corruption. We've been to Nyandarwa, where there is the Ndunyunj Captain Dunyunjeru Road, which is Mau Mau Lot 4. <coughs> We've been to uh, Ikumbi Road in Kigumo. We've been to Olengoroni Stadium in Nakuru. We've been to Kamarini Stadium in Elgeo Marakwet. We've been to the Kipkaren Water Treatment Project in Wasingishu. We've been to the Kangundo Road Wakulima's Market. We've been to Makweni, Katua Kenunguni Road, which was allocated 362 million and 255 million already stolen and there is no road. We've been to Kabonyo Kanyagual, a project worth 2.5 billion. That is that there is nothing to see. We've been to Kisumu, Afri Cities Convention Center, and um, got Nangabarube Road in Siaya, which are stalled, and Kanyadhyang Kadel Road in Homa Bay, and Mbita Sindosori Road. And all these are investments by this government where money is stolen and nothing is done. Wa Kenya wenzangu, ni vizuri tuanza kujiuliza kama ni kweli tumewapa wanasiasa ruhusa ya kuiba pesa za wananchi wa Kenya.
The reason we've been traveling around the country is because 70% of the electorate of our country does not understand that corruption affects them. Therefore, this is a call to you, a Kenyan, kama mimi, ni wakati wako usimame na Kenya. Don't leave this for Morara or this team. It is now your personal responsibility to do the little that you can do in the space that you <coughs> occupy to change our country. Mjue kwamba 70% ya wapigakura Kenya wako mashinani na informal settlements. Na kule hata labda hizi televisheni ambazo tunatazama hawatazami hizo. Ni vizuri tujiondoe in our comfort zone tuende mahali wako kwa ground. Tuzungumze nao. Kwa sababu watu ambao wako mashinani wanafikiria kwamba ufisadi ni mambo ya watu wa Nairobi. Kwa sababu mtu ambaye yako mashinani hajawahi kuna wengine hawajawahi kuuguza milioni ama wajawahi kuuguza 500,000. Sasa ukimwambia bilioni tano ama bilioni kumi na mbili imeiba from treasury hawaelewi and they are not able to connect. Ni vizuri tuende tuwazungumzie waelewe kwamba hiyo barabara ambayo iko karibu na wao imeibwa. Waelewe kwamba hiyo hospitali ambayo iko karibu na wao ambayo mtu alikufa kwa sababu hakukua na MRI machine ama hakukua na X-ray machine ama hakuna dialysis machine ama hakuna oncologist. Waelewe kwamba hiyo ni ufisadi there is over 3 billion and I can confirm with authority that 3 billion was allocated through parliament for equipping level 3 and level 4 hospitals and the whole 3 billion was stolen nothing was ever bought. Kwa hivyo mkenya popote ulipo. Ujue kwamba hii kazi sio yetu peke yetu. Lazima tushikane mikono. Tujitole. Kila mtu azungumze na familia yake. Uzungumze na marafiki zako. Mkiwa katika chama ya wamama, zungumzia uongozi mbaya na ufisadi. Ukiwa katika kuchumbiana ama date, set aside five minutes ya kuongelea mambo ya ufisadi na uongozi mbaya. Na mimi nataka kumuonya na kumpa onyo kali mwishmiwa William Ruto. Nilimuambia kwenye televisioni tukiwa take JKL kwamba yeye talayari amekusha kuwa bilionea. Hakuna kitu kingine ambayo pesa inaweza kumsaidia kwa sasa. Hawezi kununua afya njema na hawezi kununua uzima wa milele na milele. William Ruto, you cannot buy eternal life. Stop stealing. If the president stops stealing, members of parliament wataacha kuiba. Governors wataacha kuiba. Senators wataacha kuiba. Kama rais mwenyewe anaweza kuwacha ufisadi. This spirit of greed must end in our country. And I'm encouraging all the people of our country across all generations. Whether you are a Gen Z, a millennial, a baby boomer, this is your moment. Usijione mdogo. Na usione kama ukona followers kidogo. Ama wewe si mwana siyasa. Ama wewe si mtu wakuzungumza. Sisi ambao tumesimama hapa tumejitolea. Na tuja jitolea kwa sababu tunataka viti vya siyasa. In fact, I want to tell all Kenyans today that if you find me running for member of parliament, munipige viboko. If you find me running for senator, nani ina jizungumzia, I'm not speaking for the rest. It's time, of course, for the youth to take up leadership positions so they may want to take up those positions. I'm speaking for myself that I'm not interested in being a member of parliament in any constituency in the Republic of Kenya. I'm not interested in being a senator of any county. I'm not interested in being a governor of every county. What I'm doing is patriotism to my nation. If the people of Kenya see it fit to take me to a higher level and give me a higher platform so that I can defend them and so that I can take the nation forward. I'll humbly accept it. But as of now, we are not doing this because we are interested in anything. Therefore, wewe pia wewe mkenya, usi expect kitu. Do it out of passion and out of love for our country. We don't want change tomorrow. We want change today. Thank you very much. I want to give the floor to my colleagues here. I have young professionals who are doing very well in the various fields where they are.